Once upon a time, there was a princess who lost her kingdom to an evil genie. over the Great Book of Magic now, hmm? Uh, not yet. First, Roddy and I are getting married, and you're the one who is going to host the wedding. What? And why would I do that? Uh, because if you don't, I'm keeping the Great Book of Magic. <laughs> okay, fine then. I'll host the wedding. Okay. We have to find the real Gwen, recover the Great Book of Magic, and prevent Roddy from marrying Gwen's imposter! Very well. I want a grand wedding. Oh, there are flowers. Here are fountains of champagne. Ooh, looks like you're going to have to hire some help. But my dear, you know what they say. A wedding that small is... Uh, Rex, help me. Wedding for two, more cake for you. It's either that, or I'll turn your book into confetti. Fine, fine. Well, where are you gonna start? How do I know? Do I look like some kind of wedding planner? Uh, we're wedding planners. 
planners. Hmm? But I was just calling. <laughs> wedding planners who are ready to go will make sure your weddings. Uh... Yeah, really big show. <laughs> of course, uh, really big show. So, uh, where's the lucky guy? I don't want to get married. Uh, oh, um, he certainly seems really quite moved. But he can't hide the fact that he has some outstanding debts to settle. He owes us money, too! This one! I want this cake! We'll take this one! One day, I want the same one. Ugh. At this speed, they'll be rolling the credits before we get that book. Right. Let's pick up the pace. <laughs> All right. Now the wedding can finally begin. Wait. Beforehand, I want to read a poem to my fiance. Good idea! Uh -huh. Here are some short stories you can read, too. William, if this keeps up, he's really going to end up married. And so long still isn't back. where the wedding is at. And your eyes, blue azure, distant like our radiant future. Your hair like golden sun that warms my heart. And All right, enough with the poetry! <laughs> Where's the priest? <laughs> ah, by the powers invested in me, I declare this wedding open. Finally! The great book of magic is about to be ours! Mm -hmm. It ain't over yet. Lucrina, do you promise to love, to honor Roderick all of your life? Yes, I do! Roderick, do you promise to love, to honor, and to cherish... Mm -hmm. I'm against it! Me too! 
the Christus! Gods arrest him! <laughs> ah, that always creates jealousy, huh? Continue. Well, I hereby declare you man and wife. That's it! I'm married! <laughs> uh, congratulations! Can I have my great book of magic now? Oh, no, you don't, because you're not really married, and I'm not really a priest. <laughs> Where's the real priest? <laughs> <laughs> Magic will come. Cake? Did somebody say scrumptious, mouth-watering chocolate cake? I get so famished when I'm this size. No, no dog, dog princess. princess! Delicious. Um, Zalon's grandfather told him the cake would bring the Great Book of Magic back to us. And you just ate it. Oh, no! Wow, Princess, that is not a good look for you. You look green and really, really bloated. Kind of sickly, too. Like you ate a whole cake in one bite. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Can't you make another one? Impossible. I have no more ingredients. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye! Last chance to sign up for the great bake-off! Bake, shake, and win your weight in chocolate. All ingredients included. We have to sign up, Princess. Did you hear that, Rex? They're doing a bake-off. We can't let them attract the Great Book of Magic. Prepare the cookware. We've got to shake and bake. Hooray. I get to cook some more. Hear ye, hear ye. It's the Great Bake-Off, consisting of three rounds of awesome competition. Let's meet the candidates, shall we? Number one, the Questers. Number two, the Spaghetti Brothers. And the Duke. <laughs> nice move. Now let's meet the judges. Bonjour. I am the great chef Robert. And I am the equally great, if not greater, Chef Benjamin. The Bake Off will have three rounds. In round one, you must bake a butter cake. It must be sweet, but not cloyy. Impudent, but wise, like a gazelle. You have two hours. The questers have hit the ground running. Ah, uh, I mean, baking. But the Duke seems to be lost in batter choices. Will he find his way? No, 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 no! It needs to be more cakey. Is that a word? You're worthless! I'll show you how it's done. And now, let's look in on our other two candidates. Those two are taking the lead. Rex, handle it. <laughs> I got your flowers out. Gee, you guys look pale. <laughs> Candidate one has left the stage. 
stadium, folks. Hey, fireworks! I'm sure the Duke was behind that. We'd better stay on guard. <laughs> That's got to hurt! And now it's the Duke versus the Questers! <laughs> With this pre-made mix, I'll be sure to win! And time is running out, folks! 30 minutes to go! <laughs> Approaching the cakes. You can taste the tension. The Quester's cake is up first. <laughs> A disgrace in appearance. But the smell, it's divine. Mm. Magnificent! <laughs> the judges are now turning to the Duke's cake. Incredible design. Pure art. <laughs> Questers win round one. Now for round two, you must make a fruit-based cake. Begin now. I know. We'll make Great Aunt Gertie's fruit cake. It uses candied fruit. It's the best. And I have a recipe memorized. Uh, Princess, with all due respect, no one likes fruit cake. Nonsense! Everyone likes fruit cake. Uh, not really, Princess. Back home, they're so hard, we use them for football. <laughs> Costos! <laughs> Nutcrackers, even. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, great, great idea. Yes, let's do that. Remember, only the most exotic fruit you can find. I'll need pineapple, mango, fruit. Uh, simple. I got it. Rex, bring the basket. That it? Up close and personal with Daddy. I'm so underused. They only want me for my sword skills, but I can do other things. I know I can, like opening an egg. Just give me a chance. Hello? Anybody home? I know. Fruit cake. It's incredible. Indestructible. It's to the bake-off. The judges inspect the Duke's cake, which looks magnificent. If he loses this round, it's bye-bye, Dukey. Oh my, it looks like the Duke has a fighting chance. Or baking chance. <laughs> Wait till they taste Aunt Gertrude's fruitcake. Now it's the Quester's turn. If they win this round, victory is theirs. <sighs> A hammer made of cake! Awesome! It was so good when Gertie made it! <laughs> and the winner of round two, for flavor, appearance, texture, and everything else, is the Duke! I am the champion! Yes! I win! I win! <laughs> cool it! It ain't over yet! The score is one to one. The stakes couldn't be higher. In the final challenge, each team must create a totally original cake. I know. How about we do something with eggs? I'm really good at opening them now. 
we could make a cream pie. It's got to be something really delicious. Everything hinges on this. It's hopeless. We'll never bake a cake good enough to tempt the great book of magic. Something with vanilla and strawberries. I just want to suggest that Dao Long make the cake he baked this morning. It was amazing and truly original. And I should know, I ate it all. Good idea! Hey, about the quester's cake. <laughs> Tasty. Delightful. It's close, folks. Very close. And now, the moment of truth. The suspense is almost unbearable. And the winner is... The Duke. No, the Questers. Duke <laughs> Questers. Duke Questers. Duke Questers. Duke Questers. It wants cake! The book! Over here! Take all you want! No, no, take mine! It's real good! Yummy, yummy! Gotcha! <laughs> 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 take that, Questers! Oh, I win! I win! Yay me! This makes me the ruler of everything! You will always have a size problem. You will never learn a new spell. And I'm throwing you all in my dungeon. <laughs> Not true! <laughs> That's what I call your just desserts. Oh, no. The book is getting away. We'll catch it someday, princess. Just as surely as I can crack this egg. Fruitcake. It's incredible, indestructible, it's powerful! 